Wow. <coughs> Recently, we went ahead and covered two of the new features that came out with Python 3.11, and that was the task group and the exception group. Now it's time to jump into the self type, which is a new type they introduced in Python 3.11. So I just want to go over why we should use it and where it's useful. So the first thing you need to do to use this self type is go ahead and import from typing the self keyword. And to explain why it's useful for the first example, I went ahead and copy and pasted the literal example from the pep docs. And I'll leave that in the comment section down below so you can look at that as well. But the pep docs didn't really give a working example. So I had to go ahead and edit it slightly just to show you exactly why you'd want to use self. The concept might be clear, it's just on pep for some reason I could not get the code to work, so I had to play around with it to make sure I could explain it. But let me go ahead and explain to you what all this code is. It's taken directly from the pep docs. So here we have a class of shape and it only has one method which will set the scale of the shape. And then here we actually use it and it's going to return to us a shape as soon as we set the scale because it's returning self, which is the shape, of course. Now that we have a shape defined, we can go ahead and create another class called shape, and it's still going to set the scale, except this time it's going to return a shape, since now we have that defined. So we can do the same thing as earlier, and it's going to return to us a shape. Now where things become interesting is when we create a new class, a class such as circle, and here we want to set the radius for a circle, and what we want to do is return the circle. So naturally, we will try to return self, which should refer to the instance of the circle. Now, where the problem arises is when we go ahead and instantiate circle, use the dot set scale method, and that's going to return to us a shape as we have defined up here. As soon as we use set scale, it's going to return self, which is the shape. And we don't want that to happen to circle. We want to return a circle so we can continue using the methods of circle, such as set radius. Because as soon as we call set scale, you'll notice that we cannot use set radius anymore because this does not belong to the shape instance. This only belongs to circle. So if we have a circle, we can easily set the radius and that will work fine because that returns a circle. But as soon as we set the scale, we won't be able to use any other methods associated with circle. And again, that's because we explicitly told the program you need to return a shape. And the way to work around this is to go ahead and use the new self type, because by returning self, you're returning the instance of whatever object used it. So if a circle uses set scale, it's going to say this should return a circle and self is going to be the circle. So this will work as normal. Set scale can now be a shape or it can be a circle because it's going to return whatever object actually used it. And this was the example that we got from pep. So it helped with inheriting methods and returning the correct type depending on which object we used. So that was the major example given by the pep docs, but there are some other uses. So if we import from typing once again, the self type, we can now explore some other examples on how you can use it. For the next example, we will create a class of fruit and it will have an initializer that just takes a name of type string and we will set the self.name to be that name just so we have some funky code that creates a fruit. Now, an example given by the Python documentation was with the class method. So if we create a class method and here we create an alternative constructor such as create super fruit and that's going to give us the class and we need to provide a name of type string and the power of type integer now here we can return self which is going to be the class instance itself and when we type in super fruit and say that's of type string and that will equal the formatted string of name and another interpolated string with an exclamation mark times the power. So some funky code again. And we return the class with the super fruit. We will now be able to check that we are returning self. And this is cool because now also if we change this to something such as Apple, we're not going to have to change this to Apple as well. We're not going to have to make any changes here because self is always going to refer to the class. So now we have a way of creating a super fruit and that was one way to use it. And I'll show you later how we can use that. 
But next, if you are familiar with context managers, it was also very useful if you wanted to create an enter method and if you wanted the enter method to return the instance itself, then you can go ahead and type in return self. And here you can do your processing and then return self. And once again, if you are working with inheritance, it's very nice to use self because if we did something such as def change name and we have self in there and we have the new name we want to edit, we can just return self instead of returning a fruit and that's going to help us a lot with the context options for the other class. Because if we have a class of orange, for example, and we change the name with a method from fruit, we don't want to get a fruit back. We want to get the orange back so we can continue using the orange methods. So self.name.name .name would equal name and we would return self. So we can continue processing that object. Now the rest works as normal. If we create a fruit of type fruit, for example, we can type in fruit and we will just type in create super fruit. So here we can type banana and we'll make it super. So we'll just add 10 and that's going to create an instance of fruit with our special constructor over here, which returns self and that is great. Now the ambulance is here because the banana is about to commit suicide. Now if we type in print fruit dot name and we run this program, we're going to get our super fruit back. But to sum it up, we now have an option for returning self if we need to. Earlier, we would have to go ahead and use the type var to create whatever type we wanted. But now we don't have to do that anymore because it's built into Python 3.11. So it's just a major convenience for us in case we want to respect inheritance and make sure we have the right methods when we're working with certain classes. But that's really all I wanted to cover regarding the self type. And in case I missed anything, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to read about it. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.